Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the M172. In this part, in this model, we're going to see the web server. At the beginning, we're going to see the default web server that we have with this controller, the M172 performance. So how we can access to this platform is easy. If we have a new PLC, we know that the default IP address is this one. In our case, when we're going to make the test, we need to access to this IP address and then use these values, administrator and password. Okay, so I'm going to open a new windows, new window, this part, good, and I usually use the incognito, so I don't have any problems with the cookies and all the stuff. So I'm going to put the IP address of my PLC, administrator, administrator, and password. I shall show you. I use password. Cut, copy, paste. There we go. So for security reasons, we need to change those initial values. So admin username, I'm going to use the same, administrator, password all, password. I'm going to use the same one, password. And then confirm. There we go. The password has been changed. So now we can get access to the web server. Here we can see that we can make some tests and change the status of some of the LADs. Okay, back like link off. We can get access to the system clock to see the actual time in the controller and also adjust. We have access to the analog inputs. Okay, this is the temperature. You can see here. I'm going to attach the proof. There you see, it's changing the value. We also have digital inputs. All the IOS the controller are in here. We also have the possibility to change the IP address. Okay. We can also have the possibility to change the configuration of the analog inputs. Okay. If you want to do this, I recommend you to disconnect all the analog input that you have. Analog outputs. And finally, again, the password. Okay. That is the default web server that we have with the controller. If we, we want to see later that we are able to download our own design of the web server, but in order to get access again to this web server, the default, we need to access to eboindex.htm. We already see this, this part. So this is everything for the embedded web server. Okay, so if you have any question or doubts, you can contact us directly.